As you can see, they're large in size. Hello! Today, we're gonna work on the tow truck. Now, we're gonna get some stuff handled. Goals for today, we're gonna get the transmission built and hopefully hooked to the motor and the motor put in the truck. So uh, we got a lot of work ahead of us, so uh, let's get going on it. All right, so you guys remember this setup. We built transfer case and the doubler, all this stuff. So now we gotta pull this part of the, the 203 off and we'll take the Turbo 400 over to the bench. We got new clutches and seals, uh, manual valve body. We got a TCS converter to go in it. The boys down there custom build us a converter that uh, will stall where we need it to and then lock up solid when we need it to so we can pull hard and this thing's gonna work. We'll get this unbolted and get it on the trans table. Okay, she's gutted. We're gonna throw this on real quick. Now we got some bolt holes to address. Right here we've got some stripped out stuff, so we'll uh, helicoil those and get those taken care of. We'll clean all this up. Take this case, pressure wash it. All right, we'll uh, squeegee this down into the pit. All right, that will go back in because these factory ones, way more gooder. These clutches, Actually in pretty good shape. We may change that out. Oh yeah, that's getting changed. If you can look right here, these are hammered. We'll swap that out with some better stuff. We'll need this for measurements here shortly. But these clutches, they're not burned up. That's the direct, that's third gear. All right, so Tom sent us some transmission stuff a little while back. Today we're gonna use it. These are plastic pick tools. We're gonna use that little uh, lip seal tool. Thank you, sir. We will uh, get these things out and put them to use. Let's see what the second gear stuff looks like. Oh, well, these clutches are in good shape. We'll have to deal with that. Oh yeah, these ones aren't burned up neither. They're in some okay conditionings. Clean them up, put some new parts at it, and we'll have this thing whipped. All right, it's a new day in the shop. Me and Randall are here. We just decided we're gonna run to the store and get some oven cleaner so we can clean this tranny up proper. What's a Turbo 400 if it's not green when it leaves my shop? So we gotta get some green paint too. We'll go grab that stuff and spray this thing down. Here we are at Terry's. Hopefully we got what we need. Just our luck. The color we came for is not there. That's the best thing. John Deere green. We'll take it. <laughs> That's the stuff. We'll do a test today. We'll spray some with oven cleaner and some with gunk and see which works better. Alright, so this was five bucks. We'll go with the original. Yeah, they didn't take any of the stuff out of it. The Eight, original is all Eight ninety nine or five. We'll see which one works better. What do you think is gonna be the outcome? I personally think the oven cleaner is gonna outperform, but we'll find out. Time will tell. Maybe the best part of this whole day was right there. Snowballs for breakfast. I guess we'll take this outside and get her ready to clean. All right, I think the only way to do this is to spray one half of it with gunk and the other half with oven cleaner. and We'll see which one's shinier when we're done, right? All right, this half over here, that's oven cleaner size. Well, we'll just, we'll just wait and see. Two hours later. All right. What does the survey say? Oven cleaner. By far, we're gonna soak the whole thing with oven cleaner and then give it a bit and clean it off. The fact is, is oven cleaner is cheaper and it just works better. Couple more coats. And we'll have her. For what we got going on, she's perfect. Just like new. We did a little uh, comparison to oven cleaner and gunk. Which do you think performed? What kind of, just is just called gunk? Yeah, I'm using a greaser. 
Wow, mousing cleaners always work better. It did. Did it? It outperformed it hands down. Huh. We'll let that drip dry for a minute, put some bushings in it. One bushing down. Perfect installation. All right, now we've got all these other bushings to deal with. They really don't look terrible, -ish, but, but we're probably going to put new ones in it because we got them. So my kit only came with these two bushings. We're going to go ahead and put all of them in it. I know I'm blind, but check out photo five. Let's see it. Photo five. <laughs> hey, we have that spray stuff you can put on it that magically makes it appear. Hey, maybe that's where kindergarten comes in. Right. Draw the picture in <laughs> your shell. Yeah. So this is just changing springs. These ones suck. I'm gonna have to. Tap it down with a hammer. Got a power steering or the pilot tool. It's up there somewhere, I think, with the slide hammer for it. That'll work. That's why I keep that guy around. It's in one of these boxes, huh? Yeah, it's one of those that we haven't labeled. Maybe when we find it, we'll label it. If a guy was smart, he'd cut a hole in this table so that you could set that down flat to do this. You seem like a smart guy. That means. Mean you're cutting a hole in the Means table. I'm cutting a hole in the table. I like it. Well, we have to clean it all. That's perfect. You've got a little better trigger control than Ben. Broke my wrist a couple times. Look at that. I'm already missing like every tooth. Amazon. What? Hey, you found it. Told you I had one. Oh. Yeah, hey. Those are just not very good. All right, I gotta clean this all up now. We might not just get the back. That's what I was just looking for. He's over there. There's a screwdriver in there now. You just, <laughs> oh yeah, I sucked it right up. I thought I heard it go sloop. <laughs> I heard something. I'm gonna get my screwdriver back before I forget it. Screwdriver and a bushing. All right, so if we engineered this properly, it should make life way better here. We should... What I was trying to avoid. This one was thrashed. Yeah, look at this. It was coming apart in there. It's what it's supposed to look like versus what it looks like. That was failing, was it? Yep, it was going away quick. Yeah, I should have cut that hole in there a long time ago. That makes putting those in way easier. I'm pretty certain that it goes like that right there, but I'm not sure, but we're gonna verify real quick. It says that that bad boy lines up right there like that and it has to be set and flush. I didn't read any of it, but I looked at that picture and could figure it out. We'll get a bigger seal driver. Oh yeah, another one down. We got these to deal with too. They're in the same boat. Right there. Two for one. Wonder if that's supposed to have two bushings in it. Only one. Okay, we got that left to bushing. Yeah. We gotta change this one out right here. This is our new roller. That's the one we're using, and not this one. Right? Yeah, this is our good roller. This one's kind of fun because you can't just pound it. We're gonna take that out, and set it over there. Otherwise, we'll have it everywhere. Okay. It moved. Is that the hole? Yeah, if you can hold it right there. That's a long enough bar. I should hit you. <laughs> that hole was worth cutting right there. All right. Brand new bushing in that. We can get these out. We got new bushings. All right, this is a pretty important step when you're building a tranny. Gotta soak these clutches up. You want them to be lubed up when they engage the first time. Okay, this is where we're gonna have to start putting some aftermarket tarot parts in. This is the part that stuff can go south. 
you cut one of these lip seals, she don't want to work no more. Thing stuck in there. That was it. That'll get it out of there. Pretty soon we'll have this thing clean. She'll be going back together. So how this works, that hole's normally got fluid coming up through it. And this thing is down in there and it pressurizes it and pushes it up. The whole clutch pack's setting in here and it smashes this clutch pack into this, which makes you go forward. So hydraulic pressure makes that move. These springs are basically a cushion so it doesn't, it's not like you're dumping the clutch that kind of goes up easy and lets things move nice and fluid. We need one of one of those sizes. Then we need one of those sizes. And then I need one of this size. Just like that. We want a little of this here slickum stuff on this sill. Okay, these things here, they were designed to make your life easy. Push them down in here, like so. Slips in pretty, not too bad like. Feels happy, turns free, I'll take it. Call them that a successful lip seal installation. Now we gotta get the right springs out of the kit, put in there, put it back together. All right, we only need these ones right now. They're just a heavier, stiffer spring because we're going with a manual, full manual valve body. So whatever gear I put this transmission in, it's in that gear. Usually from the factory, it has a spring like right here and right here that are missing. This one fills them up. Extra spring pressure. My homemade tool works pretty okay. All right, one. One lip of the sill, done. All right, another piece down. We're stacking. All right, we're going to stacking right here. We're gonna put a clutch pack together. Don't be forgetting one. You forget these? She won't live long. You'll put it in gear and it just goes. It's all of them. We can deal with that. And this one goes right here. And this one goes on. All right, we'll uh, throw this thing in here and check the clearances and see what they look like. It's calling for like 50 to 60 thousandths. That feels like that. I'm happy with that. Okay, first gear's done. Let's stack second together. Okay, we got one more set, one more thing to deal with, and then we can start cleaning and stacking. Last set of lip seals. Center it? No. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta loosen them. You gotta put a band around this whole yeah. thing. And no, I did not. Yeah, we gotta do that still. There's one. There's two. We line that thing up. That's done. All right, we're going together. Pop, a little hit. Okay, we need that piece right there. You don't want to forget this little jewel. And I learned if you just put some of this stuff on, it falls apart way less. So this is gonna set right in here like that. And then it goes down inside of here and runs on this. So one side of this is running right there. There's another one on the other side of it holding it in there. And then it can spin free. I take that valve body. Spray it out. Get it ready. Don't lose the one check ball that we got. Okay. So that's a one-way roller clutch that we just installed right there. Right in there like that. Right like so. There we go. In and done. Okay, right here we go. You're listening for the right noise. That's the noise you're hunting. Okay, we're through all the clutches.
think she's green. Paint it up. We got the motor mounts built there in here. Now we need to get the transmission hanging off the back of this sucker so we can wedge it down in the frame and build the rest of the motor mounts to hook it in. He's gonna dump a little fluid in the converter and we'll get it stuffed in the tranny, get the tranny hooked on and go for it. All right, we're gonna drop this converter in here now. I think it went all the way. Let's just leave it hanging right there for a while. We gotta get the motor and everything adapted to it. Yep. All right, well that's in and ready. That's pretty close. Should be able just to swing right over. Hold on, I gotta get in here. I'm in on this side. Did you happen to bring that gun? I didn't not bring it. <laughs> I don't know what I can do with it. It's in the top of the toolbox. Look at that. Multitasking cameraman. On it. Okay, I feel better now. It's not bad off right there. It appears we've we need to do some angling in this area here. Or maybe some straightening in this area here. Grandma Lolly yeah. here. Yeah, I had to bring my favorite son and stuff. Son of a... Why did you come around earlier? <laughs> I he never you. showed up before you. That's uh, red too, Paul. That, that's got to cut a little deep, don't it? I'm telling you what. I brought you a fat boy. That'll do it, man. <laughs> Zippity do it. Yeah, love it. I'll forgive you for not me not being your favorite. All right. <laughs> now, we'll see you later. See you later. Thanks for the ice cream. You're welcome. Try to appreciate it. Let's see you later, Grandma. Yeah. I think the best thing to do is to put it in, measure up our parts we need here, cut those. What parts? For our, motor mounts. Oh, okay. Get that figured out, and then then we can tip it. Yeah, then we can get we can I mean, get, a we jack get it pretty under close it. here. Yeah, let's find out. Okay, we're gonna have to throw headers on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we got to build stuff to fit around all of that. I'll go get them. I've ran a lot of different headers, and I've liked Doug Thorley's forever. And Doug split off from Doug Thorley, so I run Doug's now. Because He's the guy that was making them before, so I figured he'd know how to make them again. This motor is going to put out some horsepower, and it's going to need to get the heat out of it. So we've got these headers that are pretty severe. As you can see, they're large in size. Hello! So four inch collector. We're going to neck it down to three inch and uh, run dual three inchers out the back. How far below the oil pan and stuff for the header? They are pretty close. Sweet. All right, there. there. It's tight, but they're gonna fit, and they're tucked up under the frame, man. Yeah, they're tucked right up. It looks good in there. Yeah, we're way off on the leveling situation. That's the wrong side. Just, I mean, I was saving you a trip. For what? This side needs to go. Oh, you're putting it. I'm gonna put it to the frame and pull it down. Just continue doing whatever you're doing. Just do whatever you think. Yeah. yeah okay. I'll just stand here and look important. You know it. A little more. One more click clock. Yep, right there. We can trim whatever needs trimmed. Yeah, and that's real. That's really close, but it's that looks good. We'll just have to roll under it and get a center to center off the okay. transmission. But we I like can, those. They fit right We in can there. build that. And those don't stick down too the far. Hole. No, they don't. They're up in the frame rail. We can flat bottom that thing. That big old toilet bowl thing that I have for a throttle body sitting on the top of there is going to be pretty awesome. It might hit on the hood. It's so big. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty big. <laughs> we should show them, don't you think? I think yeah, so. I, I got to see it. Dan couldn't stand to not do a comparison, so. This is, a, this is just a basic one off That's, a... Uh, Big block. There's what he's putting on it. A few more CFMs coming down the pipe of that bad boy. Big dog. Hey, more fuel mileage. When you plan on going to the fir world's first ever 
tow truck rodeo. Oh. So we're building this thing to go down and compete in the tow truck Olympics with Matt. And uh, we just want to be able to compete. So we're doing, we're doing whatever we can that we think helps in the off-road world we're putting into this truck. Stuff that we've field tested, no works. It's going into this truck. This truck worked pretty good before, but it just wasn't tough enough because it would bend and twist and things would fall off, the motor would die, we'd break the transfer case. We're eliminating those problems. We're probably creating a few more problems with this and the horsepower area, but we're willing to risk it. Yeah, there's gonna be a problem or two. <laughs> Probably hooked to my right foot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That problem seems to follow not just the tow truck. <laughs> I don't know. Does, what, you're I don't know. About. what? What? <laughs> Okay, the rear center. Now we just got to measure off the crank pulley. 23 and a half. 24 would be 12, 12 so it's going to be 11 and a half. half. So it needs to go your way a 16th of an inch. Perfect. How's that? That's not hitting the tape. We'll we'll tell. Tell. Yeah, it's pretty. Let me roll underneath. Where else? As far as I can tell, 14 and a half dead nuts to the center. We're down a little on our motor level. Which way? We're towards the front. So it needs to go up? Yeah, it needs to go up just a touch. Okay, well we can do that when we're ready to weld it in. Okay. How long's that there transfer case? Combo. Transfer case. Let's see, from the mating surface to the U-joint, you're 21 and a half. Oh yeah, so it's going to come to right. There is the, that's probably going to have to come out right there and up. But I'm not afraid of that. You give me a cutting wheel and I will mow this thing out of there so fast. I've already done that once and welded it all back together. Well, dad welded most of it. Did I ever tell you that story? No. Oh geez, it's traumatizing. Mm. I cut the bed, we put it on a blazer frame that first time, and I cut the bed, had it all cut and tack welded together, and I told him, I said, hey, I gotta go to work, I'll be back Monday night and I'll help you weld that together. Okay, I came back and he solid welded it. The old bed was warped everywhere, that's how it still is up there. <laughs> well, it wasn't gonna, wasn't yeah. gonna break. Yeah, he never welded sheet metal before and it didn't fall apart. No, it didn't. She wasn't straight anymore. I took so much time getting it all cut off perfect and bobbed and... <laughs> and then, like the second time out, he tipped it on its side anyway and trashed the whole corner off. So it didn't really matter at that point anyway. <laughs> Three inch and a... That's not heavy. What was enough. this one? Oh, you're not. You're gonna do heavy. Work. We're doing. We're doing quarter wall. This never five. had anything but quarter inch welded on it, and it's life, man. We're bracing it. So you need thick. This kid just just thinks he owns the place. He just helps himself. There's three. Feels like somebody. Which he just said on camera. Hey, you know, I was May. thinking about it. <laughs> ben, didn't you actually say you <laughs> wow. used this last? No way. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, the buck gets past <laughs> quick. This thing rolls here. downhill quick. Oh, here. you know what you're doing? No. You will when you're done. He's changing brakes on his truck. You can see there, there's no brake rotor. <laughs> Hey, she still spins good. That's all that matters. All right, I just gotta figure out how to take it off. You're about to learn, is what your old man said.
It doesn't just kind of. My brake pad's fine. Where's the other one? There was no other one. It fell off. Oh. That may or may not be a problem. Hey, one <laughs> is better than none. Come on. What do you think? Looks like that moved the front of sender over to me. Eleven and a quarter. You saying I can't read a tape measure? I just said it looked like it moved it over to me. The middle one with the cotter pin here, I think the cotter pin will pull that off. Oh, let me come look. Pull these two big bolts out and then that'll come off. And then you get a, you put that shoe back in there. Okay? What shoe? The brake pad and get the C-clamp and clamp it in and it'll push this all back in then you fit your new brakes in it okay and then you got to take this off and pull pull the whole wheel bearing off at that point and then we got to pound the nuts and rivets you got her are you a nissan mechanic oh yeah they're exactly yep. the same right now let me get a hammer a little tappy a little tap 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 the room. <laughs> there it is that is not supposed to be that skinny, is it now? <laughs> no. Look no. how much you still have left, though. I mean, it's still pretty good. Hey, you're not hitting the spin jet. You're good. Just how long ago it. did you notice the brakes were getting a little bad? Uh, like two weeks ago. I think that's a little more than two weeks. <laughs> I'm just, <laughs> just throwing that out there. I like that. How she look from back here, Randall? Beautiful. Oh yeah, you look know, at I that. think you could even get that header guy. It looks like out. the camera adds pounds. If I look through there and then look out, maybe it's a <laughs> holy what do you think? smoke. <laughs> That's a big old motor. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't even talking about man, I was talking about the like, <laughs> motor. Question is, before we weld those in, do we uh, carve some header clearance into it? I need enough that when I undo the headers, I can drop it down and get a gasket in and out of it. Oh yeah, yeah, exactly. So if I do a if I do a half inch of clearance around it, that's going to be enough. Well, we're back to square one, I think. Why? Well, I got it all back together. Oh, you've got new parts on. Well, while you got it off, you might as well pump some new grease into them there bearings. Yeah, they're pretty close, aren't they? You pull this out, set the bearing down in it with the taper facing down. Push this back on it. Push grease up through all the bearings. Put it in. Put it this way. You just set that taper end down right over the top of that down in there. There you go. Then you put that on there and push down on it until the grease comes up out. On. There you go. Yeah, we'll just grind that. I'll weld that patch in there. Move one, it? That's pretty fun. Now jack the jack back up. That's enough. That'll do. That'll do. That'll do, donkey. That'll do. That'll do, donkey. That'll do. I like it. Weld it in. Just get smacked with that. You got me. You are in the work zone. Hit him back, Michelle. I don't hit back. She's, she's like Amber Heard or whatever. She's the abusive one in this relationship. My dog stepped on a bee. He can sue you, you know that. Johnny yeah. Depp just won today. Did he win? He won. Well, there's hope for me. Here we go. <laughs> Ta-da! Holding its weight. Didn't hit the ground. That's where it's supposed to be. And it's level. We fixed the brakes in my truck. Seems to be working fine. It stops now. Beautiful. Put the new brake rotor on, brake pads, everything. We're going to be mint. I like it. That's where it's supposed to be. I like it. Now we can build uh, frame or transmission mounts. and She's there. All right, we got a pile done today. But it's six o'clock and it's quitting time. So tomorrow we'll get transmission or transfer case hooked onto it, build some tranny mounts, get a front end setting under here.